Navigating the nighttime sky is a daunting task to say the least. Whether it's for observing or astrophotography, there's just so much out there that you could see or image. Thankfully these days, there are some incredible apps out there that help you star hop to some of the best things that the night sky has to offer. In today's video, we're gonna take a look at Sky Safari 7 by reviewing it and walking through a tutorial of how you can use it to plan your night of observing or astrophotography. If you enjoy this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. But most importantly, let me know what apps you use and any questions that you may have in the comment section below. Now let's begin by setting up our night and planning what we hope to go out and see by using Sky Safari to take a look at what the night sky has to offer. Let's begin by tapping on the time icon and moving into the future for the night ahead. One thing I really like about this new version of Sky Safari is its updated animation and graphics. And you can see that by this beautiful animation of the setting sun as the day turns to the early evening and then turns into the night. You can go days, weeks, months, or even years into the future or past to see what the sky was like at any different time. Plan your night out for the next week, or even go back in time to check out the night sky on the day that you were born. Now that the sun is set and the stars are out, let's go over and tap on tonight to take a look at some of the best things the night sky has to offer this evening. This list is a great starting point, covering some of the best and brightest objects in our solar system and beyond. Click on any target that interests you, and Sky Safari will instantly bring up information on it and lock onto it in the night sky. To plan ahead, you can tap on Calendar, which will give you some great objects and events in the night sky for that month. This is another great way to start your planning for any future observations or targets you may want to image for astrophotography at the start of each month. Another thing you can do beforehand is create an observing list of what you would like to see for the night. I've been slowly adding some of my favorite objects to a list called Best of the Best for several years now while I've been using Sky Safari. When I click to highlight objects in the sky chart, it will show me exactly where each of them are located for future observing or imaging. To add something new to it, all you need to do is tap on the object, tap Object Info, tap More, and select Add to Observing List. Whether it's objects you viewed or want to view, this is a great way to map out your favorite things or a wish list of what you may want to see in the night skies to come. One last thing I like to do before I go out is enter my telescope, eyepieces, and equipment info into the app. To do that, tap on Observe, My Equipment, and then you can pick from a long list of equipment from some of the many major manufacturers in the industry. And even if yours isn't on there, you can enter specific parameters for equipment that you own. Now that we've got everything set up and planned for the night ahead, let's go outside with our telescope and use this app to hunt down some of the best objects that the night sky has to offer. I'm out right now on a beautiful night with my telescope and Sky Safari Plus ready to go to help me find some incredible objects in the nighttime sky. Let's dive right into this app to show you how you can use it to find things when you're out with your telescope. My telescope and current setup for astrophotography doesn't have go-to features. So I have to manually find everything I see in image in the night sky. To help with star hopping, tap on Observe and go to Scope Display. 
I'm going to tap to turn on the field of view for my 9x50 finder scope. I also like to use this feature to find many of the objects that I image for deep sky astrophotography. I can click on the exact camera that I have and my lens, and now I have the field of view in Sky Safari to help me star hop to whatever I may be imaging that night. All right, so we've got the field of view loaded up for the 9x50 finder scope that I like to normally start with when I'm looking for things in the nighttime sky. So let's start at one of the brighter stars in the Big Dipper, Dube. All right, I've got that centered in my finder scope. I'm gonna be using now the app to star hop from that over to M81 and M82. All right, that should be about it. I'm not seeing them through my finder scope, but that could just be because of the light pollution for where I live. So I'm actually going to switch to a 25 millimeter eyepiece to get a higher magnification and to bring in more light for looking for it. So let's switch Sky Safari over to a 25 millimeter eyepiece for my telescope to get that field of view. down a little bit. Hey, and there they are. These are two of my favorite galaxies to observe and image every year. And it's right where Sky Safari said they would be. That's a very detailed star map. That's really good. At this point, you can use this eyepiece or go to medium or high magnifications, but once you've found it, Sky Safari has done its job, and now it's just time for you to go out and enjoy them yourself. Once you're on an object like M81 or M82, you can tap Object Info to get more information about that specific target. With even some of the most popular and major targets in the nighttime sky having an audio overview that'll play while you're observing them. M81 is a grand spiral galaxy within the constellation of Ursa Major. This great spiral is also situated just half a degree from M82, a peculiar galaxy. If you're out at a dark sky location and want to protect your eyes, be sure to activate night mode, which switches everything to red, which will help to preserve your dark adapted eyes for those distant faint fuzzies that you're looking for through your eyepiece. Another nice feature of Sky Safari is the compass feature. If you go to the upper right hand corner and click on that icon, it'll show you exactly the night sky that you're looking at on your phone to help you learn the brightest stars in the sky, to learn the constellations, locations of the planets, and even to get you started on hunting down some of the best deep sky objects. And if you click on AR, it'll give you an augmented reality view of your exact surroundings with the stars that are up in the nighttime sky, just to help to orient you even more to what you're looking at and what you can find. Although I haven't used these features much, it's nice to see that the team at Sky Safari is embracing the social aspect of astronomy by allowing you to see what others are viewing in the night sky by tapping on one sky. This again is a nice way to get an idea of what some of the best things are to start with to observe or image in the night sky. If a friend or family member has Sky Safari, you can even use the app to guide them around the sky using a feature called SkyCast. Those are just some of the ways that I use Sky Safari 7 to help me on a nightly basis with hunting down some incredible deep sky objects with my telescope or for imaging with astrophotography. If there's anything in this app that you use that I haven't mentioned, please be sure to share it with others in the comments section below or any other apps that you enjoy for astronomy or astrophotography. Thank you all so much for your continued support and clear skies from late night astronomy.